Okay, thank you so much, Chris. Kentucky regulators have cited billionaire coal producer Jim Justice's company for conditions they say contributed to a mudslide and flooding, which damaged six homes in Pike County. They learned about the conditions Friday and sent investigators to the Bent Mountain surface mining operation. Kentucky Energy and Environment spokesperson John Miro says the citation mentions multiple shortfalls by the company, including sediment control, off-permit disturbance, failure to notify failure to pass water quality and diversion ditch failure. Officials with the Kentucky Fuel say they're offering assistance to those affected by the slide and flooding. The owner of a Breathitt County Ambulance Service at the center of a federal lawsuit claims he and his company did nothing wrong. The United States government is suing Aeromed Ambulance Incorporated for violations of the False Claims Act. Prosecutors claim the owner, Jay Arrowwood, and his wife, Lisa, schemed to defraud Medicare and Medicaid out of more than $1 million. But yesterday, their attorney told WYMT's Tanner Hesterberg the allegations are not true and they plan to fight in court. A company that provides life-saving service finds itself in legal trouble. Federal prosecutors say Aeromed Ambulance is responsible for more than $1 million in loss to Medicare and the Kentucky Medicaid program. The owner, Jay Arrowwood, and his wife, Lisa, are accused of billing Medicare and Medicaid for non-emergency ambulance transports that were not necessary. We feel the evidence is very strong that uh, Aeromed and the, and the Arrowwoods did nothing wrong. In fact, they did everything right. The Arrowwoods also face allegations they converted hundreds of thousands of dollars from Aeromed's bank accounts to their own use. If the Arrowwoods are found liable at trial, they would be responsible for paying back three times the amount of proven loss plus other penalties. However, their attorney is confident that won't happen. Extremely confident. I've been trying uh, federal cases for almost 30 years now, both civil and criminal. I've never felt better about a case in my entire career. This is is, is something I am looking forward to seeing to go to a jury. Maintaining innocence as they fight to clear their name. Jay Arrowwood did not want to speak on camera, but he reiterated the allegations are not true and says the money he and his wife are accused of abusing was actually used for business-related expenses. The original complaint was filed last year by Steve McIntosh, the owner of a competing ambulance service. We spoke to him yesterday, but he did not want to talk on camera on advice of his attorney.